Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm coming to you guys with a tutorial on how I made my Bohemian Lock braided frontal wig. And it is glueless. Let me forget to mention, not forget to mention that. <laughs> I'm stuttering. But I'm just showing you guys how I laid the frontal on the mannequin head. And I am using a mesh dome cap, like the cap that I use in any of my other videos. And so we're just going to sew that down really flat onto the cap. And yeah, so we're just going to keep doing that. And next we're going to cut the extra mesh from the cap. From up under that we're going to go ahead and do it because we are going to be braiding so i'm just going to show you me cutting that off and we're going to use our good friend the elastic band this is how you make a wig glueless and you're going to line it up with the cap if you see like right above the ear area and once you sew that on on both sides that is what's going to hold the cap down look keep in mind and well look how snug and tight it fits to the blockhead let's just show you that it's like glueless so after we do that, we're going to pin it down even more, and we're going to begin braiding. And so now we are going to take any kind of mousse and we're going to apply that all over the frontal. That really just tames the hair and pushes it back out the way. And now you're going to see me part away like a parting. So that's like where the baby hair is and you need to pluck it a little bit. Just to thin it out so you don't have like no thick bushy baby hair. It's like everywhere like because that's not cute. Who wants to look like boo boo the fool with the helmet on the head? Not me. And so now in the process of braiding we are going to use Murray's edge wax or jam anything anything holding like of your choice you can use even for all i care and you're gonna use some rubber bands and now i'm just showing you the little um comb i used i used a little, little edge comb i think they really worked really good with the lace and i'm just showing you now a time lapse of me parting the hair off and putting the little um like the parts i use triangular parts and i'm going to give you guys a close-up of what i did and so yeah that's just me you know working the frontal and so now here's the close up. You're gonna take a little bit of the edge wax and you're gonna put it on the part of the hair. Then you're gonna make the part again and put edge wax around the entire um, <laughs> entire part. I'm trying to describe it, but I don't know how like to describe it, I guess. So I'm basically just gonna part the hair and make put like a big blob of edge control on it and then smooth it out, you know? And, like you see me doing it right here. So just gonna, you know, put a little edge control after that part of that. You see? Yeah, like that. And after I do that, I'm just gonna smooth it out. And we're going to um see you see me smoothing it out. And then we're just gonna put a rubber band around it to hold it. And be very mindful. Oh my god, yeah, listen to my voice. And just be very mindful when you do put the rubber band on it to not um put it on there too tight because you don't want the lace to wave up. But I think that should be handled like you know if you're doing it too tight because you see the lace wave up because we already like did the you know the doing of the frontal or whatnot. So yeah, just showing you guys, you know the process. Oh gee, look how like my hands and stuff look like I don't know if that's exposure the camera or what because I had to use my phone because I left my camera at school and it was spray break like wow. Yep, but um, I'm going to fix that. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just trying to make this video as detailed as possible. I don't want to like skip over no steps or nothing like that. So um, yeah, I'm just showing you guys again for a second time how I do it. You know, part it off, apply the jam, holding, holding spray, not spray, holding substance whatever you want to call it and then put the rubber band on and bow you're done just showing you guys that and here i'm just showing you guys um because i know a lot of people like will be worried about like where the lace ends at and how is that going to look on the cap so um basically the braids like the parting it is to window you know like one sits in between the gap or the other if that's like what i like that's the best i can describe it so it's going to be a little extra hair right there at the end of the lace and you just part it off like you would the rest of it and yeah <laughs> 
Now I'm just showing you the hair I used. They were going to use the feed in and the hair they were going to use to do the actual braids themselves. Now on to the actual braiding tutorial. Um, I'm not a box braid. I actually learned how to braid as I did this wig. So I don't have like an in detail braiding tutorial, but you pretty sure you can find any on YouTube. But basically, if you do not braid, you're just going to grip around the rubber band and just keep braiding like you would any other braid. So any other single box braid. <laughs> and I pinned it down to hold it so like the head went jack. So you're going to take a, you're going to start the braid off, take a T pin, pin it down, and then that way you're just going to you know braid as neat as you possibly can. you're gonna see me grab some of the goddess um like curly hair stuff <laughs> that's the best i could describe that too but you're gonna see me grab grab the other texture of hair the wavy hair and i'm gonna add that into the braids and so i'm just sitting it like on top of the strand that i'm braiding right now and i'm just gonna continue braiding like the break like a regular braid like i'm feeding it in i guess that's what you call it and you're going to keep braiding and sometimes i like the locks to hang out in the middle of the braid so I am um, just gonna pull out the piece that I want to hang out and just gonna keep braiding like a regular braid. Um, I should have another little piece showing as well, like another video in the clip showing what I'm doing. You're gonna see me like pull it out and sit it to the side and just keep going on and braiding. And that goes for the ends as well. Like once you get to the ends, you're just gonna feed in the piece and you're gonna keep braiding until it's just like the curly end lift. Now, major key alert, major key alert. This is what's going to like set your wig off and secure every braid and make sure there's no slipping because like frontal hair is very, very slippery. We are going to sew the braid down. So you're going to go through the lace and up under the braid and tie a knot around it, as you see me doing. I'm going to show me doing it twice, but this is what's going to hold the braids and make sure that it never ever slips off or even gets old or the roots get loose. You're just gonna go under the braid and you see me tying the knot at the root, cut it off, and it looks really neat. So like say you did one with Russian blonde hair, you'd use obviously use blowing lace, but I'd use the black hair, so like the black lace went in very nicely with it. And I'm just showing you guys how clean and neat that looks. And we're gonna cut the extra little piece of thread off and bow. Your braid looks nice, and we're doing it again on the second braid, as I told you, you're gonna do it again on the second braid. All you're doing is gonna go through the middle of the beginning of the braid, and through the lace, and up under, tie the knot, and you're done. And voila, your braid is secured. Now this is the part that leaves everyone's conf <laughs> everyone confused. No, you do not need a full lace wig to achieve this braided wig look. You're gonna take the piece of hair that you're braiding and you're gonna sew it onto the cap and just keep a pattern. I told you I keep mine windowed because these braids are big so like it won't be any space in between them, you know what I'm saying? Just like window them through and all that good stuff. And once you sew that down, you're just gonna braid it as you've been doing the whole time, literally. You're gonna sew the, sew the braiding hair onto the actual cap itself, and you're just gonna braid it. And yeah, so you see me braiding and braiding and braiding. I really wish this um, video would speed up a little bit faster, but it's okay. But anywho, um, the clip is gonna end very soon, and I'm gonna show you guys the finished product. I really enjoy making this wig. It is a little timely, um, depending on how fast you can braid. And this is the finished product. I'm just showing you guys like it in a bun, showing you the back and the ends and all that good stuff. Um, you do need to clean your braids up with scissors, you know, get all those straight hairs away. And you're gonna see me take the bun out and show you that I can, it's very versatile. You can move it around how you like to, wear it up, down, middle part, all that good stuff. If you guys wanna see a video on how I install this lace closure, 
I said lace closure, lace frontal braided wig, then be my guest and comment. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you again, YouTube.